Hey everyone, John here from testprepinsight.com and today I'm gonna to be reviewing Khan Academy's MCAT prep course. I'm gonna discuss how this course works, the pros, the cons, and how Khan Academy stacks up to Kaplan, which is arguably the most popular MCAT prep provider on the market. But before we just dive right in, since this is just a quick video today and I'm just covering the major highlights, if you find you need some more detail at any point, you can always check out our full detailed written review of Khan Academy over on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight Khan Academy MCAT Review. It's the quickest way to get there. All right, so right out of the gate here, let's just discuss how the Khan Academy MCAT course works. Now, the first thing to note here is that it's completely free to sign up for Khan Academy's prep program. It's literally 100% free, which is obviously awesome. But as for the course itself, it's divided up into 15 learning units. And within each unit, there are anywhere from three to 30 lessons, which I know is a big range, with each covering a different topic. Now, for these topics, think things like enzyme kinetics, the muscular system, sensory perception, and stuff like that. Each of these lessons consists of a series of text explanations, short videos, and quizzes. Some of these lessons are fairly short at around 10 minutes long, while others take 30 minutes plus. It really just depends. But overall, it's a pretty straightforward course that's easy to follow and navigate. Okay, so next up, let's discuss how Khan Academy's MCAT lessons and study materials compare to Kaplan's. That way you can get a feel for the big differences between these two prep companies and decide which one to go with to help you prep for the MCAT. So first up, Kaplan definitely has the edge in terms of video lessons. To be perfectly honest, I just wasn't that impressed by Khan Academy's videos. I mean, don't get me wrong, the substantive material and testing strategies and tips are good. I'm more so referring to the fact that the videos essentially look like a PowerPoint presentation from the early 2000s or something like that, and they're just not really that engaging. Now, in contrast, the video lessons from Kaplan are the exact opposite. Not only do the Kaplan instructors actually appear on screen, but the videos are also packed with a rich mix of pictures, graphs, drawings, formulas, and various other graphics to make it easy to retain concepts. Overall, I just think this format makes for a very engaging lesson that really helps to grab and hold your attention. In fact, I actually think Kaplan has the best MCAT video lessons in the entire industry. They're just plain flat out awesome. But then, after that, Kaplan also gets the win when it comes to live classes. And really, this is an easy call considering that Khan Academy doesn't offer any live classes, let alone office hours, workshops, webinars, or any live streams like that. So essentially, if you're the type of student who prefers learning via live instruction, whether it's for accountability purposes or so that you can interact with other test takers or so you can ask your instructor questions in real time, then Kaplan obviously has the edge here. Even their entry-level on-demand course comes with unlimited access to live stream workshops. They're just Pretty awesome in that regard. All right, so next up, let's talk about practice questions and practice tests. So both Kaplan and Khan Academy each give students access to over 3,000 practice questions, which is great. However, when it comes to practice tests, Khan Academy falls a little short. They don't provide students with any full-length simulated exams of their own. They simply guide students to take the two free practice tests provided by the AAMC. Now, Kaplan, on the other hand, provides students with 17 full-length practice tests, which is awesome considering that Taking and reviewing practice tests is often where students make their biggest breakthroughs. So the fact that you essentially get 15 additional mock exams with Kaplan is actually a pretty big deal here. Not only does taking practice tests help you identify areas of weakness so you can adjust your study plan accordingly, but it also helps build familiarity with the test format and timing, reducing your anxiety and boosting your confidence for the actual exam. Okay, and last up here, I know this might not be a big deal for some students, but Kaplan also offers its students a seven book subject review bundle so that you can study anytime and anywhere. With Khan Academy, there are no printed materials. It's all online. So in short, if you're a busy student with undergrad classes or maybe you play sports or have a part-time job and you need that ability to study at a moment's notice, then the hard copy prep books from Kaplan are definitely gonna be useful. All right, so those are the major wins for Kaplan video lessons, live classes, practice tests, and prep books. So now let's turn the tables and talk about the major advantages in favor of Khan Academy. And the first one is pretty important, pricing. Khan Academy is completely free, whereas the Kaplan MCAT courses do cost money. And just as a heads up, the Kaplan courses aren't cheap. For example, Kaplan's entry-level on-demand course has an MSRP of nearly $2,000. Now, to be fair here, this is sort of like comparing apples and oranges as the Kaplan MCAT course is just so much more comprehensive. Plus, I should also mention that Kaplan typically offers sales and special promotions year round, so make sure to check the description below for coupon codes. I'll drop any current discounts and deals that I can find down there for you. They usually offer at least 10% off their MCAT courses, if not more, so there's a good chance that you can save some serious coin here. 
All right, so next up, I do have to say that Khan Academy does a really good job with the car section, which is typically a pain point for many students. Jennifer Riley, who's a cognitive scientist, leads this section and teaches you how to analyze what's actually being tested, how to decipher the underlying message of the passage in question, avoid trap answers, and utilize other effective strategies to get into the right mindset for tackling the car section effectively. In short, I just love these strategies that Jennifer teaches and believe they add immense value here. But anyway, that's really how the MCAT prep courses from both companies compare. By this point, it's probably pretty clear that I think Kaplan offers the superior prep course. I like Khan Academy for what it is, a great free resource, but it's just not the same. I know the Kaplan courses are kind of expensive, but at the end of the day, they just beat Khan Academy in pretty much every important category. Quality of video lessons, live classes, practice tests, prep books, mobile apps, you name it. So if you're serious about scoring high on the MCAT, I would highly recommend spending up for one of Kaplan's courses. In the end, I really just view Khan Academy as a nice supplementary resource. You can sign up for free and just complete the lessons that cover topics that you're struggling with, like the car section, for example, but that's about it. Anyway, that's all I've got for you. I hope this video has been helpful and you learned a little something about Khan Academy's MCAT course. If so, please return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and drop me a quick comment below. That would be really appreciated. And again, if you want to see that full detailed review of Khan Academy that I mentioned earlier in this video, just hop on over to our website. Again, that's testprepinsight.com. Or you can always check out the other videos we have on our YouTube channel. Got a bunch of great content out there. But as always, thanks for watching. Best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.